uh, we don't see anything on the map and we need to draw some cities or some streets, right? So in order to do that, let's add a base layer, base map, and we're gonna select street base map and click OK. This will add for us the map, uh, the base map for us for, from the street layer. And we're gonna draw in two cities. We're gonna draw in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're gonna draw in Costa Mesa, uh, California. Uh, I already saved these bookmarks here earlier. So I'm gonna go to Atlanta. And this is the area we're gonna draw. In order to create any bookmark, you just go to any extent you want. And like, for example, here, we are here in Atlanta. I'm gonna make this a uh, bookmark. This is Atlanta area. I'm gonna this I come here and say I want to create a bookmark and call it Atlanta two. And now I can go to this bookmark anytime I want. We're gonna go back to our main bookmark and we're gonna draw the feature classes in this block here. And we're gonna draw the streets and we're gonna draw some polygons and some points. So let's start by drawing the feature class. And the way you start editing and draw your streets or parcels or intersections is to, you're gonna find this uh, toolbar here. And if you cannot see it, all what you need to do is to come to customize toolbars and you enable this one here. See right now we cannot see it. I'm gonna hide this one as well. So we right click. We say editor, and now we have the editor toolbar in front of us. To start an editing session, we right click on, uh, we open the editor and we start editing. And here it shows us all the layers that are available here that we can edit it. And this layers coming from two different data sources, one coming from the file geodatabase and the other coming from the file location uh, that have the shape files. So here we're gonna start edit the feature classes inside a file J database. So we will open a editing, an editing session inside the file J database. So we'll select OK. Now we can edit any of these layers here. We need to see which layer we are editing because right now we have an opening session for all these layers. So we need to see which layer we are editing. By clicking Create Features, this icon here, when we click it, we will see this uh, um, like window on the right side here is that we can select which layer we want to edit. And based on the layer we select, you will see some options here change. For example, if I selected the point layer, creating a line have been disabled and only you can create a point. If I click parcel or street, I'm gonna enable the line. So right now we're gonna edit the streets and we're gonna start to draw. We select this one here and this one is uh, create straight segments. And we start drawing by click and go all the way down. And it's always, better to make sure that when you do another click, you make it with an intersection. And instead of going here and double click here, you click one here with this intersection and we call it the vertex. Now we create a vertex. We need to create another vertex with this intersection. And we double click and finish our line here. Now we will draw the other line around here. But to do that, we need to uh, do something called snapping. And the snapping is to make sure that the line I'm going to create is actually connected to the this line, because in the streets, you cannot have a line like this. This is two different lines, so I'm going to delete this one. And you can do delete by select the editing tool. You select a certain line, and right click on it and click delete. And we are going to enable the edit, the the snapping by coming here and select snapping. And the snapping will allow us to snap our line, our drawing to the existing lines. So we're going to enable snapping. And there's so, so many different ways to snap here. You're going to snap point. If you have points, you're going to snap to the points. If you have uh, end points, you're going to snap to the end points. And here you're going to snap to vertex and edge. So if I come closer here, you're going to see that right now I'm snapping to the line. And when I start editing, I'm sure that my new line is actually connected to the line. And that's called edge snapping. 
Here is the endpoint snapping, and we created a vertex here, so that's a vertex snapping. So we're going to come here and start drawing. We're going to put one vertex here, another vertex here, another one here, and double flick at the end here. Let's continue draw our streets quickly. Double click, another snap here and here, here, and double click. And also see like the snap comes here when the mouse is right here, it's it's not snapping, but snaps right here. In order to change that, you can come to snapping and select the options and change the tolerance pixels to however you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to make it 100. OK, right now it's going to snap once I am my mouse is like 100 pixel away from the line. It's going to start snapping. If I put this back again, as it was before, now it's snap only on 10 pixel distance. Let's continue to draw some other lines. We have a vertex here, so let's do this. Double click and do this and like that. Also in order, for example, if I'm drawing a line like this and I messed it up, I can right click anytime and I say delete sketch or you can press control delete on your keyboard. So let's draw another line here. And now we have the lines. It's not very visible because the line is very thin. So we can do this quickly by coming here and double click on the line on the table of content and make it a little bit bigger and change the color to blue. And now we will see our lines is more visible. This is one of the options to draw lines. There's so many options to draw lines by different ways. I totally encourage you to try all of this uh, different ways. We are going to look at all the advanced options to edit in ArcMap advanced course. But right now, let's try an, a different way to draw another line. It's called an arc segment. When we click on it, we start at the first vertex and the second one. And then when you move the mouse without clicking anything, you'll see that you are creating an arc. So I'm going to make it for this roundabout and double click and draw another one here and create for this one. Now we have, have our streets uh, drawn. We need to also draw uh, like the parcels or the polygons. Same thing, we come here and click on parcels and we start drawing by go to our location where we start drawing and we can draw like that. And double click when we finish our editing. As you see in the polygon areas, Always the first segment or the first vertex is connected to the second, the last vertex. There's always a connection between them because we are creating a polygon, not a line. So we will always see that. Double click. That's how to create a polygon. There's also a lot of ways to create polygons and different options. And also what happens sometime when we draw the parcels while we have the snapping enabled or when we do any drawing. When we come here and start drawing, see how the mouse is snapping to the line as we set it up. But actually, I don't want to snap right now. What I want is to put the vertex on the edge of this building. So while drawing, I can actually go to snapping and disable user snapping. Now there's no more snapping and I can be accurately having the edges of my building. I double click to finish the drawing. Now let's go and draw some intersections. So we're going to select the intersections from here. We're going to add a point here. We're going to call it. And it's better to have a snapping at this at this point because we need to make sure that our point is exactly at an intersection. We can add a point here, call it intersection one, another one here, third here, and here. So now we have four points. It's very small. You cannot see it. So again, you can come here like here and make it bigger. Let's make it eight or let's make it triangle 18 and say, okay, now the intersection icons have been changed. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to ArcGISMastery.com. 
and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.